In this video, we're going to be looking in our reoccurring profiles under sales. So we go to sales and reoccurring profiles. And here on the payments profiles, if we have a lot of profiles, we can do a search here by the ID, which is basically the invoice number, the order ID, a payment reference number, customer's name, the date created, or even the status. Drop this down and select the status. Inactive, active, suspended, cancelled, expiring, pending. And simply click on filter. Each order ID here is clickable, so you can actually click the order ID and see the order. So this is the order here. It's basically brought us into sales orders. So I'll just go back here. And we can also click over here on the right-hand side to actually view. Now from within here, we can again go to the sales order by clicking the order ID here. We can go to the customer's account by clicking the customer's name here. And we can actually go to the profile itself by clicking the profile here. And we can also see the profile description here as being one euro every month for one payment, then 12 euro every one year. So when we viewed our payment profile here, we can just simply go to the right hand side here and click return. This brings us back to our payments profiles list here. And when a customer cancels a subscription payment, we should be notified via email from PayPal and the email should look like this.